We started our journey through South America in the capital of Ecuador, Quito, and its surroundings. We then spent an amazing four days in the picturesque Galapagos Islands. One day in Guayaquil, one day in the capital of Peru Lima, one day in Arequipa. And today, we're on our way by small bus to the Coal Collage Spa and Hot Springs, located near the town of Chive. This route, which is approximately 179 kilometers long, will take us about six hours, including some interesting stops. After departing Arequipa, our first stop is Café de Matico in Kawasi. Located en route, this is a great place to take a break, grab a quick snack or coffee. The café, with its potential Inca theme, might offer an atmosphere of Peruvian tradition and culture. Our next stop is an alpaca and vicuña farm. Here, you can get an up-close view of these beautiful Andean animals. Alpacas are domesticated, and their wool is used in many local garments due to its softness and warmth. Vicunas, on the other hand, are wild animals. Their wool is one of the most expensive and sought after in the world. Alpacas, llamas, vicunas, and guanacos are all members of the camelid family and are native to South America. Here are the main differences among these four animals. Alpacas Alpacas are smaller than llamas, typically weighing between 54 and 77 kilograms or 120 to 170 pounds and standing about 0.9 meter or 3 feet tall at the shoulder. They are domesticated animals bred specifically for their fiber, which is softer than llamas and is similar to cashmere. It comes in more than 52 natural colors. Alpacas have a more rounded, sheep-like body and a shorter face than llamas. They are social herd animals and are often shy and gentle. Llamas Llamas are larger than alpacas usually weighing between 90 and 158 kilograms or 200 to 350 pounds and standing about 1.2 meters or 4 feet tall at the shoulder. Llamas were domesticated from guanacos and have been used as pack animals by Andean cultures for centuries due to their strength and endurance. They have a more elongated face, curved ears banana-shaped, and a taller, leaner body compared to alpacas. Llamas are known to be intelligent and easy to train, but they can be independent and more assertive than alpacas. Vicunas Vicunas are the smallest of these four species, typically weighing between 35 and 68 kilograms or 77 to 150 pounds and standing about 0.76 meter or 2.5 feet tall at the shoulder. Vicunas are wild animals and are not domesticated. They live in herds in the high alpine areas of the Andes. They are recognized for their incredibly fine and soft wool, which is one of the most expensive wools in the world. Vicuña wool can only be shorn every three years, adding to its scarcity and value. Vicunas have a slender body and a delicate face. They are agile and fast, able to run up to 50 kilometers per hour or 31 miles per hour to escape predators. Guanacos Guanacos are typically larger than alpacas and vicunas, but smaller than most llamas. Adult guanacos stand about 1.1 to 1.3 meters or 3.5 to 4.3 feet at the shoulder and typically weigh between 90 and 140 kilograms or 200 and 310 pounds. Guanacos have a light brown coat with a white belly, a gray face, and small straight ears. They have a longer neck and legs compared to alpacas, and their body shape is more similar to llamas. Guanaco wool is fine and warm but not as soft as vicuña or alpaca wool. Guanacos are wild animals. They live in groups and are found in various habitats in South America, from the dry grasslands of Patagonia to the high Andean mountains. They are known for their adaptability and agility in these rough terrains. While they may look similar at first glance, 
These differences in size, temperament, and wool characteristics make it possible to distinguish between alpacas, llamas, vicuñas, and guanacos. It's also worth noting that guanacos, like llamas, are known for their ability to spit when they feel threatened. Continuing on, our bus ascends the Patapampapas to the Mirador de los Volcanes, or Mirador de los Andes, a stunning viewpoint situated at an altitude of about 4,910 meters. This stop offers breathtaking panoramic views of the surrounding volcanoes and the vast expanse of the Andean landscape. Remember to dress warmly, as temperatures at this altitude can be quite cold, even during the day. Because of its high altitude, it's common for visitors to experience symptoms of altitude sickness here, so it's advisable to take precautions. This might include acclimatizing an arequipa before the trip, staying hydrated, and carrying altitude sickness medication if needed. Our next stop is a lunch break in Chaibe. This quaint town is the capital of the Kailoma province and is located in the Colca Valley. The town itself is a charming mix of Inca and Spanish colonial influences, and it provides an opportunity to sample local Andean cuisine. After lunch, we continue to our final destination, the Coal Collage Spa in Hot Springs. This spa resort is an oasis in the high Andes, offering natural hot springs and a variety of spa services. Nestled on the banks of the Kolka River, the lodge offers stunning views of the surrounding mountains and valley. After the long bus journey, a dip in the thermal waters is a perfect way to unwind and soak in the tranquility of the Andean landscape. Enjoy our trip today with us.
trace It ain't enough for me To spend my time in care If you're just gonna love me From way back over there So step it up, step it up, step it up Baby, I'll be gone You keep saying you want me Well, push has come to shove It's way past time and overdue To show what you're made of It's nowhere near enough And I won't hold my breath But if you come through for me I'm yours in life and death So step it up, step it up, step it up Baby, you'll be gone the case Now you're here right by my side Brighten up my days Was never enough for me To spend my time in care